funny comment coming up right now. A friend of mine just came back from touring with the OJs. Yes, indeed, he's from Philadelphia originally. Ladies and gentlemen, Ralph Parents. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Before I got, I was in Phil, uh, Philadelphia. That's where I live, and I was, I went to Africa. Had fun, man. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. Elvis is in Africa, y'all. I wasn't gonna say nothing. He told me not to say nothing, right? I was walking around, right? I got lost, and he was standing there. I said, "Excuse me, could you tell me how to get, you know, back to the village?" And he had a big gulp in his hand. I'm like, yeah, "Look, I was, I was drinking a big gulp," and I was like, "You know, could you tell me how to get back?" And everybody's like, "Oh, that's Elvis. That's Elvis." I was trying to figure out, you know, where the 7-Eleven was. And Elvis said, "Man, you get back to the village." And when he said "man," I was, I knew it was Elvis, you know. So what I'm trying to say, Elvis is a black man, y'all. You know, that's why that's why he won't come back. You know, because he, they won't let him in the house. You know, they, <laughs> you're not Elvis, no, nah, no. Nah. So you know, I just didn't wanted to tell y'all that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I went into a drugstore today to try to buy some Sunday Life, man. Like, Where do you stand? <laughs> None of your business. In the oven. Would you like to try it? <laughs> huh? You can try it if you want to. I'm having fun though. I I uh, <laughs> I read a stupid story, man. It was it was goofy. The guy, it was a true story. The convict was in jail, climbed up on top of the roof of the jail, and said he wasn't coming down till somebody could tell him all six names of the Brady kids. <laughs> Dude is a nut, man. He walking around on the roof. He was up there for five hours because nobody could guess the names. Walking around. Ah, Sam was the butcher. Don't try to trick me. <laughs> try to trick me. I got my thing together. <laughs> Oh, man. You know what gets on my nerves? I was talking to somebody a little while ago. I, I hate when people spit on you and they won't tell you. <laughs> and it always lands right on your lip, right? And you can't say nothing about it. And they won't tell you they did it. Both of y'all saw the big cornflake coming at your lip. You got to be nice about it. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Man, what's that? Oat bran on my lip? Wow. That's... How about this? You ever kiss somebody back away from the kiss and have hair in your mouth? And it don't match yours or the other person's? Oh, man. And it's curly? Oh, that could ruin your whole day, man. That's... <laughs> Some of the people sitting here like, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Dentine gum. They say they offer you the taste that bites you back in their gum. You'd be, you'd be walking around. Ow! <laughs> Wouldn't be too bad if it gave a... No, I won't say that. I can't, can't say that. The guys are listening now, though. They'll be in the store tomorrow. Excuse me, how much is the dentine gum? No, I want the value pack right there. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Mike Tyson lost, so... So... He's still, a, he's still a hero, man. He's still a hero. Everybody says they'll fight him. Everybody says if you give them $3 million, that'll be enough. How are you going to count your money if he hits you? Uh, what is this? What is this? There's no book paper. Get out of here, man. If he hit me, I'd be walking around like this. See, what happened was... Wait a minute, wait a minute. See, what happened was... He hit me in my chest, right? Whoa. And my back went out. But I still got $3 million. Plus, the women like the way I walk. Look at this. Look, look, look. My dad says he do it. My dad says, give me $3 million. Matter of fact, give me a million. I'll fight him. I say, Dad, I'll give you $3. You won't even fight mom, man. Get out of here. Thank you very much. Thank you.